As per the schematic icon menus, when you're generating a panel drawing, you would also use the panel icon menus. Now we've got a drawing set up, as you can see, JIC panel icon menu there. So I'll go to the project, right click, add the active drawing, yes to that, and just quickly update the drawing properties there to make sure that the sheet number is correct. So let's drop that in like that, that's done. Now I've got a panel enclosure in place there, just a basic one. And what I'm going to do now is add some panel icons from the panel icon menu. Now it's not on the schematic tab on the ribbon, it's on the panel tab. And you can see here, it's a very similar environment. So I'm clicking on the down arrow here, icon menu. Again, you've got schematic list, manual, manufacturer menu, catalog list, and also equipment list. Very similar to the schematic icon menu. But if I go icon menu for panels, You'll notice on the actual box that appears, the symbols are somewhat different. I've still got push buttons, selector switches, and so on. But what I'm looking at now are footprints that I'm placing onto the panel. So if I was going to insert a push button, let's say a push button normally open. Slightly different. I'm inserting a footprint. I'm not inserting a schematic symbol. What I'm inserting is a symbol that represents what that push button will actually look like on the panel. So if I do a catalogue lookup now, it'll go and look in the database for me, find all the ones that exist. So I'll go for, let's say, that one there. It's red, two normally open, two normally closed. If I click on OK now, that's in place. There's the manufacturer and the catalogue number. I'll OK that now. And it thinks about it for a while now. What it's doing is it's going through the database, checking all of that information, and it's bringing it into the drawing. Notice the wildcard match there. Now it's asking for a location point for that footprint for that push button. Now what I'll do is I'll make sure that snap and grid are on. It makes my life a bit easier. I can snap exactly to a grid like that and click. And now it's asking me for the rotation. You can see that down there on the command line. I press enter and there it is. There's the manufacturer. I might give it an item number. So this is a push button. So you might say it's PB001, for example. And you might give it a description, something like push button. Now we did cover this earlier, but what I want to do is just get across how important all of this information is, because it's showing all the ratings of that push button, the switch positions, drawing project, group, everything's in there. So I click on OK, and it inserts that information like so. So if I zoom in like that, there's my push button. Very, very easy. But it's not a symbol like it would be on a schematic drawing. It's actually showing what that push button would look like. And it'd be the same with something like a pilot light as well. If I went back to the icon menu and I went for pilot lights this time and I want, let's say, a green light. Catalog look up again. There's them there. So I click there, click on OK. Adds that information, brings it all in. Click on OK. It's looking in the database file for the pilot light. It takes a little while. It's searching that database to find the information. There's my pilot light there. So I'll just bring that in there and click. It's asking for rotation. I press enter and I'll just OK that now. And you'll see, look, GN, green. And there's my push button with the RE on it like that. So all I'm doing there is I'm just setting up my panel to show the actual physical objects on the panel. That's why the panel icon menus are subtly different to the schematic icon menus. Let's have a look now at the icon menu wizard. Now there's one of these for both panel drawings and for schematic drawings. I'm in the schematic tab at the moment on the ribbon. And if I go over here to other tools right at the end here and click there, you can see there's the icon menu wizard there. Same with panel. There's the icon menu wizard there again in the other tools panel. I'm going to use the schematic tab this time because I've got a schematic in the drawing there. That's my icon menu as a drawing that I've set up. So let's add that first to the project. So select the project, right click, add the active drawing. Yes to that, and that updates, and the sheet number is correct, 006. Schematic tab on the ribbon, as I mentioned earlier. And then over to other tools here, an icon menu wizard. I want to edit a particular menu file for my icon menu. So it's going to be schematic, which is use default here. A-C-E-I-E-C -E -E menu.dat. I don't want the panel one, I want the schematic one because I'm using the schematic tab. Click on OK. 
And it looks remarkably familiar, doesn't it? It looks just like the icon menu. It is, but we're in the wizard. See at the top there? I'm going to go into miscellaneous and into user circuits. And you'll see there's a whole load of user circuits in place already. I'm going to add a new circuit. So I go add circuit there. And the name of this one will be icon menu wizard. And what we'll do, we'll use lowercase there. It looks better on the actual icon menu itself, like so. And the image file. Well, I don't have an image file right now. So what I can do, I can browse for one. Nothing in there, so I'll cancel that. I can pick one. I can pick a block if I want to or something like that. That's if I'm adding just one particular component to the icon menu for schematics. I'm not, so I'm going to hit escape there. I'm going to use the active view. And you'll notice now you can see the view of our circuit in our drawing and the image file has the name of the drawing. I'm going to create a PNG from that current screen image. And then I'm going to zoom in. Notice I'm zoomed in already there nice and neatly, so I'll press enter. That's all up to speed. Circuit name to insert. So, is there a file name that I need here? I can browse for one and I can browse for a drawing. I don't need to because it's already in the drawing. I can go active and it finds the file name straight away. So, it's all ready to go. All I've got to do is click on OK. It tells me there's one already in there, a PNG. That's no problem. I'll say yes to overwriting that. And there's my icon menu wizard. So, I've got a new circuit that I can add from the icon menu. So I'll click on OK there now, and that's in the icon menu ready to be used. I'm just going to zoom out now and just move my circuit down a bit like that. I now go back to the schematic tab, click on icon menu, go to miscellaneous here and user circuits, and there's my icon menu wizard. So circuit scale, I want that to be one. Move all lines to wire layers, keep any fixed wire numbers and so on and so forth. I'm going to update the circuit's text layers as required. Click on OK. And there's my new circuit. So what I've done there is I've taken a circuit I've already created and put it into the icon menu wizard so that I can use it over and over again. It saves me having to recreate that circuit all the time. It's the same with any symbol component that you create on a schematic drawing. You can also do this for your panels. So once you've got a panel layout organized and in place, you can go to the icon menu wizard for panels, and then that panel layout can be used over and over again. I'm just going to drop this as close as possible to that one for now. You'll notice it's updating and doing a wire cleanup, and you'll notice it's cleaning up the wires. The reason it's cleaning up the wires there is it's adhering to the project settings. It's not a problem. What I'll do there is I'll just do a regen, just to check that it hasn't removed anything it shouldn't have. And you can see it's regenerating the model, and that's the way it's come through in this particular case, because it's tidied up those wires that it thought it didn't need. Not a problem. We don't have to do that cleanup if we don't want to. We can change that in the settings when we insert the block itself, or in this case, the circuit. But that's the icon menu wizard in AutoCAD Electrical. It's very neat because you can replicate things that you've used again and again, and it makes you more productive and more efficient.